Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you my latest new to me Louis Vuitton find. And it is a Louis Vuitton toiletry 26. And it is a vintage piece. And when I say vintage, I mean vintage. Um, it's probably about 40 years old. This piece, I believe, is probably about from the 19, mid 1980s, early 1980s. And I say that because prior to, I think, the middle of uh, the 80s, Louis Vuitton did not use LV zippers on a lot of their items. They used what was called, um, they used Eclair and they used Talon zippers. And so this piece has an Eclair zipper. And that's what makes this piece so old. So that's the inside of it. Here are the corners. It's got a little wear and tear and it's nothing that a little leather paint can't fix. The canvas isn't bad. Um, it definitely needs to be cleaned and I'm gonna do that today. And the zipper also definitely needs to be cleaned. But I really like this piece and I've been looking for this piece actually for a couple of months now. I got the toiletry 15 on um, eBay and I'm actually glad that I bought it on eBay because if I had bought it, well, I would not have bought it brand new from the store because of the price. But let's just say I had thought about buying it brand new um, at the store. I actually would have been a little annoyed because it is so small. This is the 15. See how small this is? What, what are you supposed to put in this, honestly? I've got like a lipstick and not like you're actually gonna see my mouth because we have to wear a mask, but you know, lipstick, a mirror, a small hand cream. But you really can't put a lot in this little thing. And this little thing, brand new on the Louis Vuitton website is 525, I believe, 525 Canadian dollars. I paid a hundred Canadian dollars for this on eBay. Why did I pay a hundred Canadian dollars for it? Because the corners were marked and fraying a little bit and the Vachetta leather was dark. That's about it. And I said, you know what? Forget it. I can buy, I'll buy this for a hundred dollars and fix it, which I did. I painted the corners, cleaned it up, cleaned the zipper, which I'm gonna have to clean a little bit more again. And I was happy for $100. I'm going to do the same thing for this. I'm going to clean the zipper, I'm going to clean the inside, and I'm going to paint the corners to cover the frame and then I'm good to go. This bag, this uh, this pouch on the Louis Vuitton website now is 665 Canadian dollars. I paid 143 Canadian for it. If you've seen my vid other videos, you know that when it comes to cleaning, I have certain supplies that I use, Q-tips, Brasso to clean the uh, rivets and the zipper. I use saddle soap, got it on Amazon, to clean the vachetta and the canvas, microfiber cloth, 
And this time I'm going to clean the canvas with this. So this is a really soft, well, it's not really soft, but it is a soft brush. And I'm going to dip this in water and then dip it in the saddle soap. And I'm going to use it to clean the canvas. And of course, can't forget one of the most important things. Oh, hold on, sorry. Water baby wipes. And that's what I use to wipe down the vachetta and the canvas um, after I clean it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna clean this zipper because eventually I'm going to end up cleaning the whole um, bag inside and out. So I might as well clean the zipper now. And then I can just get everything all nice and clean with the saddle soap. So get a little brasso on a Q-tip and you're going to rub it along the zipper. And it's my understanding, I've seen a lot, I'm in a lot of Louis Vuitton Facebook groups where people buy and sell, look at that. And it's my understanding that a lot of people are not happy with Louis Vuitton, with the new stuff, because they are no longer using brass for their zippers and their rivets. Now they're using some type of coated metal. And also, the canvas that's being used now is not as nice and thick as the old canvas was. I, and a lot of these Louis Vuitton groups that I'm in, people are posting pictures of their items after two months, six months, a year of use, and their stitching is coming out, or the handle has broken, or, you know, a part, the zipper or a rivet is starting to tarnish. And that's not okay, especially for the price that you're paying for these items. And then Louis Vuitton has the audacity to increase their prices every few months. But the quality of the items seem to be going down. And this is why I like vintage pieces, because vintage pieces date back to when Louis Vuitton seemed to care about their quality, when they took their time making their items, when they used quality canvas, quality um, vachetta, and that's what you're paid. That's what you paid for back then, and you sure didn't pay the prices that they're asking for now. So before I go on, this is what the zipper looks like after one cleaning with the brasso. So I'm gonna do it again. Here is the zipper. Two passes with the brasso. Looking good. I'm gonna have to do it again one more time. I'm looking at my toiletry 15. I'm probably gonna do that too. Okay, so now on to the canvas. So I'm going to clean the canvas. And yes, it isn't as vibrant as obviously a new bag would be. And that's because it's old. But when these items come from Japan, they've been in storage and you can smell the storage smell. It smells um, like mothballs. So I'm gonna clean the inside and I'm gonna clean the outside. Always, always, always clean your vintage. Because you would be surprised how much dirt comes off of these things. Baby wipes. I'm gonna wipe her down first. And look at that, I haven't even started cleaning it. Look at that. This is just a cursory cleaning. I haven't even started using the saddle soap yet. Crazy. Look at that. 
All right, now I'm gonna get to the saddle soap brush, water, saddle soap. Just gonna take a little bit. Going to scrub the canvas. Holy cow, look at all this dirt. I wish you guys could see this. You'll see it in a minute when I wipe it off. And sometimes simply Cleaning the canvas with the saddle soap is also a way for you to bring back the vibrancy of the canvas. Look at the brush. Can you see? I wish you could see how dirty the brush is. So I'm going to take the baby wipes and I'm going to wipe the canvas down. Look at that. Look at how dingy this side is. And look at this side. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Water, brush, a little bit of saddle soap, and I'm going to scrub it. Again, do the same thing. Baby wipe, wipe it off. Holy cow, look at this. That is how dirty this thing is. Not okay. So you know it's been in storage for a long time. So I'm going to do it again, and I'm going to keep cleaning the canvas until it comes back to me. Look at that. Filthy, absolutely filthy. And I'm going to do the same thing and I'm gonna keep cleaning this canvas, top, bottom, and because it's a cosmetic case, I can also clean the inside. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna clean the inside with the saddle soap. and then wipe it down with the baby wipe. And then when I'm done, I'm going to let it dry. And I will come back to you when it's time to fix this tab and paint the corners. All right, I'm back. It is the same day and my toiletry pouch has dried, the canvas is fine, and here is the zipper. I also, while I was off camera, glued down this little tab thing. Just used some crazy glue. Now I'm going to fix the corners. And really all I'm going to do is 
paint them. I know there's a product called Edge Coat that a lot of people use for uh, to fix the edging on their bags. I don't use that though. I use leather and vinyl repair paint. And that's because I haven't actually purchased an LV vintage product that required me to have to redo all of the edging. This pouch, actually the edges are raw. Um, as you can see here, there's not a lot of edging on them and I'm probably because it's 40 years old. I'm sure if I wanted to, I could fix the edging using edge coat, but I don't want to. I just want to fix the corners where um, the edging has come off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this kit and it is a kit that I got um, on Amazon. I think it was like 30 bucks and it comes with all of these different paints. And it, a little jar, paintbrush. It also comes with these little cloths that you would use, for example, if you have a huge tear and you need to repair the tear, then you would use these fabrics to put them inside of the tear, um, glue it together, and then you would use the paint. But again, I haven't had anything that required that much repair. So really all I've ever had to use was the paint. Depending on what the item is, you're probably gonna have to mix a couple of different times to get the right color. And um, especially uh, vachetta, or like if there's corners of a bag that, that has vachetta on it, that's a tough one. But it's been easier for me to um, match canvas and so the two colors that I'm using there's this one and then there's this one so this is a black and then this is a dark brown and what I do is mostly use this color because as you can see especially with the vintage canvas it's almost identical so this is what I use and then I put a couple drops of the black to darken it a little bit. And this is what I got. This is what I'm going to use to touch up the, the corners of the pouch. Let's see if my color matching was spot on or not. So this is one corner that I just did. Not sure you can see that. Compared to this corner, you can see that it's still pretty worn out. And this is the corner that I just did. It's not bad. I think it might be a little too dark, so I'm gonna add a little bit more brown. I may have put too much black in it. So you just gotta mix it up in the container. And I'm going to try the other side. Yeah, that's definitely better. So this is an edge that I've just painted compared to this edge, which I haven't painted yet. And so it always dries, uh, it'll be dark at first and then it will dry a little lighter. So I'm gonna do this side now. Okay, 
and here you go. It's been painted. Both sides painted and again when it dries it's actually going to dry uh, a little lighter than this and by the time it dries you wouldn't even know that the corners were painted and now I'm going to refresh the canvas and just give it a little bit of shine. Microfiber cloth. This is McGregor's interior detailing spray. Just a little bit on microfiber cloth. Get your item. So, nice and shiny. And again, I know that with vintage items, the canvas sometimes looks a little worn out. Um, it's not as vibrant, obviously, as a brand new item. But depending on what it is, that's okay with me. Because, you know, for example, a cosmetic case or a toiletry case it goes in your suitcase it goes in your bag and so that's usually where it stays until you take it out um, and put it on the, the counter in the bathroom you know or wherever it is that you're traveling to so for me uh, a 40 year old toiletry case that works you know and I saved over $500 by getting it uh, vintage on eBay instead of buying it brand new. Here you go, my 40 year old toiletry 26. Take care, thanks for watching.